This is the area where whatever they're doing caused the wall to bulge out. There are other bulges on this wall. This is the wall uh, that's on this side of the apartment. And you can see how it's all destroyed and bulged. I said I would do the ceiling. You just heard someone go into the uh, compact room, compactor room. But you can see how this was this bulging out compared to the other parts of the wall. So you can see this is bulging also. And this is the wall that's over here. So this is the wall I always point out to you folks. And you can see it's uneven in the ceiling area also. And I'll do another video with that. I think what they go is they go into the compact room to record my voice and then they spread it around. I think the app they're using is something like Whispers or something. And when this first started, they used to say something about if I had a secret. I don't have any secrets because I tell everyone everything. So that doesn't work for me. And I told them now that before I wasn't going to record my... Are you talking in the background? No. Okay. <laughs> that was my ma. And she was talking in the um, the background. I used to call her Mima, but now I call her Tots. I'm telling the world that I call you Tots now because you like tater tots. Um, so anyway, so they started out with they wanted a secret. And then they started making up lies about me. And once they started making up lies about me and it didn't bother me, they started making lies about my family. And I... And my family is very important to me. So that really got me upset. So I told you guys that I was going to try to avoid them setting me up by me taking video of people. I decided because it's getting worse and they're still hitting me with lasers and still banging and drilling. And, and, and I decided that I'm going to have to take pictures of people and have to take videos because I realized now that they were doing it to me. And that's how this got so horrible. And I'm getting a lot of comments from people that is happening to them. So hopefully if we can kind of get videos out there, then the authorities will be able to locate who's behind this and get them to stop. And also find out who's paying these gang members to stalk people. How much are they getting paid? How are they getting paid? And the other part of it is that I keep telling you folks, part of how they're doing it is that they record something. So it's not necessarily the person with the phone. I have evidence that the people are actually talking. They're not using an app anymore. So a combination of videos I'll do is videos outside the window where I feel the pains from the lasers and there are marks from the lasers in the hallway and when I'm out and about. And then I'll do some videos in the apartment so you can hear it. Someone said it could be like um, a particular app. I think it's also the walls. So you can see the bulging on the walls and, and they were putting some sort of um, chemicals into the apartment so that my face would swell saying that I have allergies. Well, I would be allergic to the chemicals that they're putting in the apartment. So these are all the things that I'm telling you folks. They are trying to lie on me by saying that I was upset because um, I didn't get a job at my university, which is a lie because I ended up going on to have a really good career. I told you guys I was a visual merchandiser at a very high-end store. I told you folks that I have my businesses, which I learned a lot about business from that store and cost of goods and things like that. So all their lives will be exposed and the stalkers will be exposed. Stay tuned for more videos.